Hello curl tops, welcome to this curl life. I'm Miss Harista and today we'll be talking about hair transitions and I'll be sharing a few shots from my haircut. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know that the theme for June is hair transitions. Whether that be relaxed to natural, straight to curly, virgin to colored, all kinds of hair transitions. And I chose this as the theme for the month because not only have I gone through a lot of big hair and life transitions this month, but it seems like everyone I know is going through a big turning point in their lives. I myself got an asymmetrical cut for the first time a few weeks ago. And last week I moved in with my boyfriend. I got a new job all in the same week. And it seems like all these things are happening at once. So I'm going to start off with a little story. Chris and I have been trying to put up curtain rods in our new apartment, in our new bedroom for quite some time now. <laughs> He's been to Home Depot almost every day this week since we moved, since last week, because we bought curtain rods, then we realized we needed a drill. Back to Home Depot. We got the drill, but then realized that the attachment we needed did not come with the drill. Back to Home Depot. We drill the hole, but the screws aren't really staying put. It's not working. We call the building manager. He tells us we need a stud finder because the walls are made of sheetrock, aka drywall. So we need to pinpoint exactly where in the wall the frame is so we can drill in that specific spot. Back to Home Depot. We get a stud finder. Doesn't come with a battery. And the saga continues. <laughs> now, we still don't have curtains up in our apartment, <laughs> but that's not the point. The point of me sharing the story is that even though we haven't put up our curtains, each through each step of the process, we have learned something new about managing our living space. We've learned something new about putting up curtain rods, putting up decor, uh, having an apartment of our own. Every time something goes wrong, we learn something new and we're one step closer to a solution. But that doesn't mean that once we put up our curtain rods successfully, that it's going to all be over and we're going to have the Pinterest where the apartment of our dreams. There will always be something new to learn because we will constantly be confronted with new challenges in our new home. The reason this is important is because we are constantly going through hair transitions and we're constantly being faced with new challenges when it comes to our hair. I see too many women go natural or go curly and they find a routine that works for them, but then they shut themselves down to learning new information, techniques, products. I'm not saying that you should all go become curly hair vloggers and influencers because we all know there are plenty of those. <laughs> but just because you think you have your routine down doesn't mean that you shouldn't be open to trying new products and new techniques and receiving new information. Why? Because you might be natural. You, you might be natural for two or three years at this point. But hair texture changes every five to seven years. And then you might start seeing some grays. And gray hair isn't just difficult because it's resistant to color treatment. Gray hair is oftentimes coarser than naturally colored hair. So it might not just be a change of color that you're going through. You might likely see a change of texture as well. Or you might be going through a change that's a result of a conscious decision you've made in regards to your hair, maybe you decided to go super short for the first time or you're growing your hair out. Maybe you change your diet or you're on medication and your hair is wearing in differently. My point is, is that it is never over. I've seen too many women be like, oh, I've got my curly hair routine down and this is how it's going to be for the rest of my life. No, <laughs> that's not how it works. Just like the rest of your body is constantly changing with age, so is your hair. That's why it's important to learn from your mistakes, learn from your experiences, and embrace change 
with open arms and an open mind because there is no avoiding it. When I first went natural, my hair was ridiculously easy to care for. I could finger detangle. I only needed to finger detangle. It didn't matter what products I used. My hair was always soft, defined, moisturized. My wash and go routine was virtually non-existent. I didn't need a routine. It was just easy. But after I did my second big chop, due to damage, not because I relaxed again, my hair started growing in differently. It was all of a sudden sensitive to protein, much lower porosity. It started to tangle all the time and I had to start using detangling tools, which was ridiculous to me. And it was a real wake up call. Because here I was thinking that Oh, I went natural. This is so easy. I have it all figured out. And then, bam, things just changed. No matter what stage you're in, in your curly hair journey, expect that one day, and most likely many times throughout your lives, so many days, you will continue to face some challenges. Just because you've gone curly or natural doesn't mean it's over. Be open to new information, new products, new tools. And be open to asking for help if you need it. If Chris hadn't called the manager of our building and asked him about the walls and putting up the curtains, it might have taken us a lot longer to realize what we were doing wasn't going to work. Just like if your hair is being difficult, don't be afraid to go to a professional or someone with more experience than you. Don't close yourself off to different hair resources because I bet you that one day you're going to need them. So that wraps up my little spiel on hair transitions and why they're important. And right now I'm working on a video about my curly hair journey. 11 years in the making. So stay tuned. I hope you enjoyed watching This Curl Life. Where you can learn to love your hair one curl at a time. Hey Curl Tops, I'm Miss Harista and I'm Curl Your Curl. <laughs> and today she will be cutting my hair. Very excited. <laughs> so today I am going to be a little bold and get an asymmetrical cut. I've been meaning to do this for like six months now. I've just been waiting for it to get warm and I'm really excited but nervous because it's a little risky <laughs> given that my hair is pretty curly. It is really curly. It is yeah. risky, but if you don't take a rest, there's no reward. Exactly. So since this month is transitioning month, we're celebrating all kinds of transitions. Mm -hmm. I wanted to know from Froyo Curls, what has been a recent hair transition that you've gone through? Um, I had very light ends and I wanted to Changed the tone of my hair a bit, so I cut a huge chunk of my hair off. Oh my god. Um, I know, I did. <laughs> it was very traumatic at first, but it's hair grows back. Um, this is self-expression, um, and I just redyed it to a different color. Um, it's under here because I'm deep conditioning oh, it right okay. now. Okay, alright. <gasps> oh my god. She's it's... cutting my hair. I am. <laughs> She did that. Oh my god, yay! <laughs> Thank you.